In one of the earlier garage series videos, I told you that it's a good idea to finish your garage because it's gonna make it a more enjoyable place to work and it's also gonna make it look a lot better when you go to sell it. Well, another thing you can do in your garage that kinda goes in with finishing it is putting an epoxy coating on the floor. As you can see, my garage floor has seen quite a lot of stuff. It's got paint and chemicals and oil and all sorts of stuff all over the floor and stains and just everything from all its years of use. And one of the ways to make this look all one color again and to seal it up and make it look nice and make it really, really easy to clean and prevent future stains is to put an epoxy coating on your floor. This used to be extremely expensive and it had to be done by professionals, but now you can get kits from Home Depot and Lowe's and order them offline, and you can do it for a lot cheaper, especially like mine where it's just a small two-car garage. Now, of course, there's a lot of steps to it and different systems will require different things, but basically, what you're gonna have to do is clean. Clean, 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 scrub, make sure everything is as clean as you can possibly get it. Of course, you're gonna have to move all of your stuff out of the way, so that's a big hurdle for most people, especially if you store a bunch of stuff in your garage you're going to have to get everything off the floor including your cars and you cannot use your garage for probably a week from the time that you start moving things out to cleaning it to putting it down and then letting it cure before you put vehicles back on it. Different products will have different cure times. So it may be difficult to find somewhere to put all of that stuff. So you may have to store it inside your basement or your attic, or you might have to get one of those little pods and you can store it out on your driveway or cover it up in like a tarp. It's gonna be different for each person, but that's probably going to be the biggest hurdle to doing this job. It's not the cost or the time, it's the amount of time that you have to have your things outside your garage. Once it's all clean, and you have everything out of the way, a lot of them you'll have to use an acid wash so that it'll open up the pores on the concrete so that it's ready for the epoxy. You want it to stick. So you can't really go through and sand all this, but the acid wash will do a good job of prepping the floor. And then of course you lay down the epoxy. If you start laying it down in random spots, you're gonna kind of get backed into a corner. So you want to make sure you're working from a spot where you can work your way back out. And then of course, some of them you can add in like those little flakes to give it a look. Personally, if I was gonna do it, I would just go for a nice subtle gray floor. It'll be easy to clean, but it won't be something like white where it's gonna stain really easy. So even if you wipe up something and you can clean it, you're still gonna have a little bit of a stain there even on the epoxy. So I think a nice gray tone is going to be a good look so that way you're not gonna have obvious staining. You can clean everything up. It's gonna show drips. So like if you have oil or something on the floor, it should be pretty easy to spot that it's there. And I do think it adds a lot of value to your garage. It's a small space that most people overlook, but even if they're coming into your house and looking to buy it and they look at a nice, pretty garage floor, it's just gonna make them feel a little bit better. Just one more thing, make it easier to sell your house and it will be a lot more enjoyable place for you to work on your car. So of course, if you have any questions about epoxying your garage floor, go ahead and drop those in the comments below. And of course, refer to the instructions that come with the kits. I have not done an epoxy floor before. I've just helped and I've watched and I'm looking to get my own, but I am by no means an expert. So just make sure you always refer to instructions for the product and make sure that you follow those to a T and you should be fine. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.